Imagine you're a smartphone. Day by day, your battery drains a bit faster than the day before until one day it just won't charge at all. Sounds familiar? This isn't just about gadgets. Today, we're talking about you. From the nagging tiredness of fatigue to the profound weariness of exhaustion, spiraling into the deep despair of burnout and leading to the potential catastrophe of collapse. We're decoding the signs your body gives and how to plug back into life's charger before it's too late. Think of it this way. Each day, every task you take on, every deadline you meet, chips away a little of your energy. Now, imagine fatigue as a whisper. Your body's quiet hint that you're starting to run low. It's subtle and easy to ignore, isn't it? Just another busy day. But when this whisper goes unheard, it turns into exhaustion, which speaks to you in a firm, unmistakable voice, telling you that you're really running on empty, harder to ignore, and much harder to bounce back from. And if you still don't listen, that's when burnout starts screaming at you. Everything begins to feel overwhelmingly intense, joyless, and ultimately too much to handle. If you continue to ignore these loud screams, you risk facing a collapse. The utter silence of being down and out, possibly unconscious or totally unresponsive. It's a serious full stop, forcing you to halt everything. You've probably heard the saying, some days you're the bug, some days you're the windshield. Let's make sure that you're not the bug smashed by ignoring these escalating voices, okay? Meet Jordan, a content creator who dove headfirst into launching a YouTube channel focused on tech reviews and tutorials. Each day is a whirlwind of activity, brainstorming topics, scripting detailed reviews, setting up intricate lighting and audio for recordings, shooting multiple takes to get everything just right, editing late into the night to achieve professional quality, and then managing uploads, crafting engaging descriptions, and interacting with followers. Whew. The cycle never ends. Initially, Jordan brushes off the creeping fatigue as just part of the hustle, just the early days of a promising venture. But as the channel grows, so does the workload. Now, fatigue morphs into exhaustion. Jordan's daily marathon includes not just content creation, but also constant social media updates, responding to comments, researching new tech trends, and juggling collaborations. The tasks pile up faster than she can handle them. This once thrilling juggle now feels like a burden. Her mind constantly foggy, her body sluggish, her reliance on caffeine is at an all-time high, a firm voice urging her to take heed. Ignoring these warnings, Jordan pushes into the territory of burnout. Her passion for tech fades into the background as the scream of burnout takes center stage. Creativity stalls, motivation plummets, and every upload feels like a monumental task. The excitement of new subscribers and lively comments, which used to fuel her, now barely registered amidst the overwhelming pressure to keep producing keep engaging, and keep succeeding. The climax of this neglect is silent collapse. One day, Jordan finds herself physically unable to get out of bed, staring at the ceiling, exhausted and defeated. The camera, the lights, the computer, all sit unused as she's forced to confront the silence of her own depleted energy reserves, a stark reminder that she ignored too many calls to pause and recharge. Let's rewind and imagine a different scenario for Jordan. At each critical stage, there were proactive steps she could have taken to halt the progression and safeguard her health and productivity. At the fatigue stage, Jordan could have set a structural schedule with clear boundaries for work and rest. She should have prioritized sleep and integrated short regular breaks throughout her workday to maintain her energy. Employing time management tools would have helped her organize tasks efficiently, preventing late night work sessions and reducing overall stress. But she didn't. At the exhaustion stage, upon recognizing the more insistent cause of exhaustion, Jordan should have delegated tasks, perhaps by hiring a part-time assistant or using automated tools for social media management or video editing. She could have engaged with the supportive community of fellow creators for emotional support and practical tips. It would have been wise to adjust her content release schedule to a more manageable pace, but she didn't. At the burnout stage, when burnout began to scream, Jordan would have benefited significantly from taking immediate and substantial measures. She could have announced a temporary hiatus to her audience, allowing her time to recuperate without the pressure of constant content creation. Seeking professional help, like a counselor or a coach, to develop effective stress management strategies and rekindle her passion for her work would have been crucial. But she didn't. Preventing collapse. To prevent reaching the silent despair of collapse, Jordan should have enforced a strict regime of personal wellness. This includes regular physical activities, meditation, and setting non-negotiable times to disconnect from all work-related activities. Regular health checkups would have also played a key role in monitoring her well-being. But she 
didn't. Now, turning the spotlight on you, could you see yourself in any part of Jordan's story? Maybe you've brushed off that whisper of fatigue or pushed through exhaustion without a break. If any of these steps resonate with you, or if you found your own ways to manage stress and workload, share your experiences in the comments below. Your story could help someone else recognize these signs before they escalate. After our deep dive into Jordan's story, where despite clear signs at each stage she failed to act, we see the real consequences of neglect. But it's not just about Jordan. This could have been any one of us if if we're not careful. It's here that we learn from her mistakes. As we reflect off what Jordan didn't do, let's consider how crucial it is for each of us to adopt healthier work habits, listen to our bodies, and seek help when needed. In this part of our journey, we recognize that timely intervention can reverse or prevent the downward spiral we saw with Jordan. By establishing boundaries, prioritizing self-care, and not shying away from seeking support, we can protect ourselves from the severe outcomes of neglect. As we wrap up our discussion on the dangerous slide from fatigue to collapse, remember, that the signs are clear, but often ignored until it's too late. If Jordan's story strikes a chord with you, it's time to reflect and take a serious look at your own experiences. Are you tuning out the whispers of fatigue or ignoring the shouts of burnout? Act now before it's too late. Start today by reevaluating your routines. Think about the changes you can make to prevent burnout and promote balance. Make your commitment to these changes visible. Share your story in the comments below. Your experiences might inspire someone else to take action and avoid a serious breakdown. For more details, strategies on recognizing and preventing burnout, make sure to check out this video next. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, please like it, share it, and subscribe for more content designed to help you thrive. Together, we can ensure your well-being remains a top priority. See you online soon.